Hey everyone, so I'm going to do a haul for you. I have actually was going to do a mini makeup haul, but then I realized I haven't showed you a lot of things I've got recently. So I'll probably put this into three parts depending on how long it is, and if not, it'll just be this one big video of just everything I've got like in the past month. So I'm going to start with what I got from my job at Re21. They We had an employee discount for the month and I got only a couple little things. I had a receipt to tell you how much it was and yeah so let's just get started. This is my receipt for the Rue 21 haul and I got a 50% discount off of everything unless it was already clearance so it was already just however much it was. So I got these pair of gloves. They're fingerless gloves and they had little bows on them. They were 99 cents and they were normally $1.99 so they were already clearance so I got them for 99 cents. The next thing is a floral knit back tank and that would be this. I actually haven't worn it yet but I actually got it for my skirt that I had. It's got gold on it and that's just what it looks like like this and it's pretty long i tried it on and it looks great and it was normally 9.99 and i got it for 4.99 and this was also a clearance item so a lot of the things i'm getting was clearance and i should have used it for the full price item so next clearance item that i got was normally 9.99 but it was 4.99 and this a three-fourth lace shirt and it's actually inside out because I wore it the next day to work after I bought it and hold on. it just looks like this it's maroon and then it has lace at the bottom here and it, it's like a peplum type of top and it's really like warm fitting and stuff and I did wear it to work the next day and I absolutely love like the feeling of it and how it looks the next thing was a Sip Raglan tunic, and it was $14.99, and that actually did the discount, so I got it for half off, which was $7.49, and I love this shirt. It is so comfortable. If you've seen all my other shirts, they're like this. It's got zippers right here that goes like on the chest, and then it just falls down, and it's a high-low, like all my other ones. But I love it because it's the dark blue and a light blue. And I don't know if y'all can see it that well. But it's like this. And I normally don't know how to pair like tights with them. But I got these tights also for my discount. And they were $12.99 and I got them half off for $6.50. Sorry guys, my hair is like getting in my face. But yeah, they look like this. And they're just like that all the way down. So I figured that this was perfect with this. And the last thing that I got from Rue 21 was my new cup. It says Young, Wild, and Free. And I love it. And I love my tea in it. It's got the um, straw in it that sticks until you take the lid out. So you don't have to worry about spills. And it's double sided so you don't have to worry about the stuff leaking. Plus I think this is actually painted or whatever on. That was everything from the Rue 21. The next part of my haul is when I went to Walmart with Blake. We went over to the makeup section, of course, first, and I got e.l.f. products. I got two things from e.l.f. I got the e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set, and I actually have not tried it yet. I did not use it yet on me to see how it works, but I will do a review on it. And then I got the e.l.f. Blotting Papers. I have used these. I'm not that big of a fan of them. I don't know, like, because I used, I used the Clean and Clear or whatever it was brand blotting papers, and they did great. Like, I felt like I didn't feel shiny anymore. These are, like, really weird texture. They're like this. And, like, when you go to put them on your face, it just doesn't feel like it's taking the oil away. But to the clearance section and the clothes, and I got this bikini bottom. 
it's only three dollars and I just love how it looks I'm like getting ready for summer I haven't got a top for it yet next thing I got wasn't really considered clearance but it wasn't like full price I think it was like ten dollars piece I got these two shirts I got this one that has like XO and love all over it and then I also got this one that says more, which means love and they're both the same type of shirt they're just two different types of um, I guess graphics and I've worn both and they're very comfortable and like I said they were like half off and my next clothing I guess essential is I got some velvet hangers I know this is really random but I got some velvet hangers I'm gonna get some more later for my closet because I feel like none of my shirts stay on the hangers and a lot of my shirts are really really soft as y'all can tell so I got these to put those on so they wouldn't slip and, and the two other things I got from Walmart were random things I got like a cupcake loofah because Blake knows I like cupcakes so he pretty much like went and got it and then put it in the cart and then for him we got a dino egg bath bomb so yeah it's kind of random kind of not but that's everything that I got from Walmart and the last part of my haul is my makeup haul and I got some makeup sponges for my mom because I'm trying to get the real techniques at Walmart but every time I go it's not there but I needed a sponge because mine had it so I just got these from Dollar General and I got these bows they're like this print and then I got some camo ones and then I just got a clip in bow or no, the two last things that my mom got me were from Avon and I got the Avon true color eyeshadow quads like this and then it's got those four shades in it and I'm wearing the teal one on my bottom lashes and the brown on my top if you want a tutorial on this like I know it's like really like in your face but if you do want a tutorial on it I will film it and I also got this purple lipstick like this and it's in the shade they put plum which is a really random name for a lipstick but I got that as well from Avon. The last but not least thing that I got for my makeup haul and the rest of this was I went to CVS Pharmacy yesterday actually and I raided the Rimmel London area and I actually have everything on right now and I'll do a review on all of them and like let you know what y'all think. I just tried it out and do a first impression because I realized I was going to do a haul so if y'all want me to do a video like a demo and like showing you how it looks and I'm applying it and everything I can do that but I got the Rimmel Finish 25 Hour with Comfort Serum SPF 20 Skin Perfecting Full Coverage Foundation in the Light Ivory and I actually do really like it. I feel like I still have like lines here clearly, which I always do anyway. But I feel like it does its job. I've only worn it for like now an hour. But on top of that, I have been using the Lasting Finish Primer. And I put that on underneath this. And I feel like the primer does really good of holding this. And I feel like if I wore this for a longer time, like if I wear it out through, through the night, it will actually help. And this is the first primer I've ever had for my face, and I like it. I primed my eyes for my shadow with the Scandalize Eyeshadow Stick Crayon in Witness White, waterproof. And I did not realize it wasn't that opaque, but when I finally like did it, did it, it like got really white because you still can see the white a little bit. But I like it that way. That looks like ombre kind of, sort of. <laughs> but yeah, I like that. And then I wear my red lips like y'all see all the time, but I did not have a lip liner. I've been using my matte lipstick from e.l.f. and like lined my eyes, and, or lined my lips and then filled them in with it as well. But I didn't feel like it was doing good, so I used the Rimmel London Exaggerated Full Color Lip Liner in 024 Red Diva. And it just looks like this. Yeah. So I will do a review and demo on all these products right here if you want, or any of the products, just let me know in the comments below. And that was my haul. I could probably do it in parts, just depending on how long this is. And if you enjoyed, a rating would be much appreciated. And until next time, stay sweet cupcakes. Bye!